welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing fantastic. In today's video, we're gonna talk about red runners. I'm gonna show you how I set up my red runners roach colony. I'm gonna show you how I build the enclosure. I'm gonna show you how I set up the enclosure. And I'm also gonna, gonna give you like a small cure guide and some tips how I take care of my red runners. So if you're interested, I will stop talking right away and let's roll the clip. First off, I know this is not the nicest looking way and it's not the best way either. Uh, in my opinion, the best way is to use uh, mesh. Like if you cut out a piece like this, you cut out a piece and then you place the mesh and then you, uh, not super glue, I use the hot glue gun to get this in place. This is the mosquito net. Uh, but I didn't have any more left, so I know this summer I'm gonna buy a bunch to stack up for the winter. Uh, so I had to get creative, so I did these holes, it's not the best way again, but I think it's enough uh, ventilation, and uh, I, it has this little bulge, whatever you call it, like that, if they would climb the walls, they had to go around this, and then come up under here, and it's gonna be this way, so they, they can't really climb out and up, under and up again, um, and even if they got here, they wouldn't get through these holes, at least not the adults. And I mean, they can't climb walls. Uh, they first have to get through up here, which they can't. But at the edge here, uh, it's still really smooth, but not, it's not the same as it is here. This one's more sticky, but I, I don't know. And I haven't felt this before. I haven't used this for a colony before. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm worried, but I'm, I'm not sure. So I'm not gonna take any risks. So that's why I'm really cautious with the lid. Uh, but again, they're not gonna be able to come up in the falls. I really don't think so. But if they come, I left this whole edge clear. So they can't climb upside down to get to here. It's impossible. So it's a, it's a permanent enclosure. I think it's gonna be well enough because it has uh, decent vent ventilation. But my plan is uh, when we move, uh, I'm gonna get a new room, an animal room. And there I will have the space to get new bins that are tall that can actually fit the egg carton box. Because if, if I stand it like this, I mean, not a good idea, you just climb right out. So I wanna get something taller, but I can't stack this out because now I have to cut them uh, and they're not tall enough. Um, so that is not good, but I have plans for it. But this is, I mean, it's temporary, but it could be permanent, so it, it's gonna work. So let's move on. So the egg boxes are done um, and before we put them in I'm gonna show you the, the temporary enclosure where I have the bridges now it's in this one um, as you can you see I just threw everything in there this is not not the best way to keep uh, any type of roach you don't want the cardboard egg boxes to lay down like that you want to stack them like this because that way all the poop and everything is just gonna fall down, fall down. Here is like gathering on these and you don't want that. So the first thing I wanna do now, uh, I wanna have the empty tub when I pour these over here. And uh, after that I'm gonna stack these in there. 
and while they while they're in here, I can maybe we can see if they actually try to climb this. Hopefully, they're gonna try it, so I know if they can't or not. Uh, th this one is uh, decent. You can you can stack up uh, to make versions in this one, but I think it's too small. I wanna something bigger where they can expand the colony. So uh, let me get all set up and ready. Got this. Uh, I got a box right here to put the empty boxes. So after I am um, actually let me put this this you can still see it. I have this box right here and this box here. So we're gonna take the first one, lift it over. Okay, he's trying to climb the corner right there. He couldn't do it. Uh, they're not even trying. I said he, that was a she actually. You know which ones are the males because they have wings. And again, the same with the dubia. Yep, they can't climb. Same with the dubia. The males have wings, but they can't really fly. They only hover. I'm not keen to touch these, but this one looks empty. I'm gonna throw this one in here just in case. That's why I have this one. And I'm uh, gonna move on. I'm gonna drop this one in. This one is empty as well. That's a male right there. Because that's a little wimps. And uh, let's go on. Oops. Doesn't look like that one has anyone on it. Goes in. Empty. And it's good that I changed all this before they lay their eggs and they have babies. So that's also good. I just got these like a week ago. And I'm not gonna start feeding these to my spiders until they get the colony going. They have to lay their eggs and the babies have to come. Um, I'm just gonna lift this whole thing in. And that looks empty to me. And it's relatively new. There's a little bit of poop in here, but it's not really. This is basically just food. So uh, if this was a old uh, exhibit that I had for a month or two, I would not do this. But since it's relatively new, I'm just gonna pour everything in here. I'm just gonna do it like this, and now we know for sure that they can't climb the sides. So <laughs> I don't have to be worried anymore. Okay, so this one is empty. I'm gonna put this on the side. Uh, put, well, actually, I'm just gonna do like this. <laughs> My double. I just wanna. I mean, safety first, right? I, I just wanna double check this before. <laughs> Probably really wait. We don't want any roaches to get out. Uh, all right. So they're in here now. Again, you see, I got a couple of males. There's one. There's one. There's one over there. And you want less males than females. And the females that are adult are the ones that are dark like this. Um, so those are the ones that will eventually lay eggs. Uh, I don't know how long it takes before they get going, but uh, I'm not in a rush because I got all my dubia and stuff, like I, you know by the latest video. Uh, maybe not latest, I don't know what, what time this this video will be uploaded. Anyways, whoops. Okay, I, didn't, I don't like how that looks. <laughs> how did he get up there? Okay, I'm just gonna wait and see what he does before. Okay. Okay, yes, grab that. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, they can climb a little bit on that one. On the side. Okay, I'm not worried. Okay, I'm worried, but I'm, they can't, so it's fine. All right, so let's put these in. That's why I don't want these to be too tall, because if they can climb this way and down there, like this much, they're gonna be able to get up to here, so good way up to the lid. So that that's not gonna be a problem. So I put this one in here like this. I like it with, when it's a little bit spacey, but then I also like it one that is like close like this because they like uh, uh, close. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but when it's like closed off like that, and then did he just? Oh, he jumped. I bet you saw that better than me. I wonder if he used his wings. Um. I'm gonna put this on like this. And the last one is actually gonna go in like this as well. So I have all this empty space right here. 
and that is where I put the food dish. And uh, on that food dish, I'm up, in the future I'm gonna place uh, any type of uh, vegetables and, and uh, I can't say that word, don't laugh at me. But like greens and fruit and stuff like that goes on here. And pellets, and this is actually a fish food, uh, but cat food and dog food like you have in here, that I just place straight into the bin. Uh, and uh, I know when this colony goes, uh, grows way bigger, they're gonna shum, take all this down super quick. So uh, since they already have a little bit, I'm just gonna take a little bit and see if they want it. There we go. Like a little moving impress in. Um, but that is it for now. I don't know if I forgot, forgot about anything, but I'm gonna pause the video there. And if I come up with something that I forgot to say, I'm gonna start the video again. All right, so I just remembered something I forgot. Uh, so the camera is back on. Uh, substrate. You can see I'm not using substrate. Uh, some people do. I don't. I uh, I mean the substrate take take away a lot of the smell from the roaches. I personally just think it's a hassle to clean when you're gonna clean. I used the substrate from my dubai roaches before. I don't do it anymore. Uh, I think this is better. Then you can also see when it's starting to get dirty when it's time to clean your uh, clean your bin. So I'm not gonna use any substrate. Um, feeding, you. I always have dry food in here all the time, so they all the, always have something to eat on. And when it comes to greens, I'm not gonna say it on the word. When they use greens, uh, you wanna throw in something, same as it, like with the dubai roaches. You wanna throw something in there that they can finish within 24 hours. Uh, if you feed anything more that stays with uh, over 24 hours, then you fed too much. Then your colony is not too, uh, big enough yet. So enough that goes away within 24 hours and uh, I think that was it. As you can see it was pretty simple, then you just leave them in here, uh, they're gonna lay their eggs and the colony is just gonna explode. I heard, this is the first, first time I'm keeping uh, the red runners, but I heard they breed like crazy, way, way faster than the dubias. And I think the dubia will just breed pretty quick, so I'm really excited to see how fast these grow, how, uh, <laughs> how fast this colony grows. And that's how simple it is to set up a Red Runners Roach Colony. I will definitely make a future video where I give you a little update how fast they have been breeding and how much the colony has grown. But until then, if you have any questions, type them down below and I will see you in the next video.